मॉडल ऑफ यूनिवर्स बाय साइंटिस्ट टॉल मी टू थाउजेंड ईयर्स ए गो ही प्रपोज द थियरी जियोसेंट्रिक थियरी इन हिज थियरी टॉल मी प्लेस द यथ एट द सेंटर ऑफ हिज जियोसेंट्रिक मॉडल यूजिंग द डाटा ही हैड टॉल मी थॉट दट द यूनिवर्स वॉज ए सेट ऑफ नेस्टेड स्पीयर्स surrounding the earth he believed that the moon was orbiting on the sphere closest to the earth followed by mercury then venus and the sun aryabhatta 500 ad he proposed the theory heliocentric theory the indian astronomer mathematician aryabhatta he propounded a heliocentric model in which the earth was taken to be spinning on its axis and the periods of the planets were given with respect to a stationary sun Copernicus from 1473 to 1543 he also proposed this heliocentric theory Copernicus heliocentrism is the name given to the astronomical model developed by Nicolaus Copernicus and he published in 1543 this model position the sun at the center of the universe motionless with earth and the other planets orbiting around it in circular paths modified by epicycles and at uniform speeds and next galileo galilei the discoveries that galileo made using his telescopes helped to prove that sun was the center of the solar system and not the earth his observations strongly supported a sun centered model known as the heliocentric model previously suggested by astronomers like Nicholas Copernicus Tycho Brahe 1546 to 1601 he studied about astronomy Brahe's model of the cosmos in Brahe's model all of the planets orbited the sun and the sun and the moon orbited the earth keeping with his observations of the new star and the comet His model allowed the path of the planet Mars to cross through the path of the sun. Johannes Kepler he modified Copernicus heliocentric theory following observations of the orbit of the Mars Johannes Kepler discovered that 
द प्लानट्स ऑल मूव ऑन एलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट्स एंड डेवलप्ड हिज थ्री लास पब्लिशड बिटवीन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड नाइन एंड सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन फर्स्ट ला इज नोन एज ला ऑफ ऑर्बिट्स एवरी प्लानट रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन इन एन एलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट विद द सन नेट वन ऑफ द फोसी The nearest point of the path of the planet to the sun is called perihelion and the farthest point is called as aphelion. Second law is known as law of areas. A radius vector joining any planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal lengths of time and third law is known as law of periods the square of the time period of revolution of a planet around the sun is proportional to the cube of the mean distance of the planet from the sun